Hello everyone. What we have here are two Verizon Galaxy S5s. The only difference between the two is one of them is running KitKat and the other one is running Lollipop. The primary difference between the two is one uses what's called ART, which is Android runtime. The other one uses Dalvik, which is basically memory cache optimization. And what I want to do is benchmark the two phones running the same version of the benchmark software and do it at the exact same time, or at least as close as I can, and compare and contrast the difference between the cart and dive at cash. All right, I'll let you guys get a look at the software version and all that. Android 4.4.4, this is gonna be the KitKat version. Uh, let's see, the, the NK7 build number, and the Lollipop one is 5.0 BOG5 software version. All right, I'm gonna be using Antutu version 5.7.2 for my benchmark. Should take about five minutes to run through the test. I do expect about five to 7,000 point difference between the two. Art seems to be much better at handling memory. Let's see here. Let's put it to the test. Find the icon. This one. Mr. Caleb, if I could get you to hit uh, start at the very same time on both of them as soon as I can get it pulled up. Just hit test. Close at the same time as you can. Yep. Mm, didn't quite work again. Cut. <laughs> All right, we'll stop that one. Yeah, stop that one. Now, if you test again, should do it. You might have to hit it again afterwards. There we go. Bam. Shit. Hit test again down here. I'm sorry. There we go, that's what's up. All right, it's gonna run through and test the processor speed, the, the amount of RAM and uh, input, output, graphics. So far, they seem about even. It looks like a uh, lollipop just jumped ahead. And by the way, I'm filming this with an iPhone, which uh, it's not my favorite device, but uh, the only thing I had to work with at the time, <laughs> but it does take great video. I'll give it that. It was actually a choice whether to use Art or uh, Dalvik. If with the Galaxy Five, I think the newer builds are starting to come out with only Art. Dalvik uses what's called a just-in-time compiler, basically meaning that whenever you run an app, it compiles the code for it at exactly that time. That's efficient for, for some programs, but not others. While Art, it's got the code built into the program when it installs. I imagine there's gonna be certain applications that run a little better with either or, or the other. But overall, I believe the Art seems to be king here. And that's what we're trying to prove. Surprised they're still easy with the video editor. You can even do that on YouTube online. And yes, guys, I am uh, filming this while on the clock at work. This is Caleb. This is my sexy voice. Visit Caleb Rudder's YouTube channel, by the way. It's K A L E B. R U D D E R. I don't have it on hand. It's like by the time we've reached the graphics portion of the test, that art has taken a significant lead, as you can see.
hope the video turns out looking as good as it does on the screen here. That's pretty damn clear. That could be attributed to just the brightness. I'm not sure if I have the brightness set the exact same on both phones. But you're right. <laughs> oh, and Lollipop finishes first with uh, 41,809 total. And Kit Kat comes in with 35,634. Let's check out the details. And we'll see where the strengths really lie. Let's see, multitasking, eh, kind of close. The runtime was ex significantly faster with the uh, with, with Lollipop. CPU integer, significantly faster on the Lollipop and ARC. Single thread processor, I'd say about 50% as fast on ARC. RAM operation, roughly equivalent. 2D graphics, roughly equivalent. And, Let's see, 3D, wow, that's a huge difference in 3D. Storage input output, KitKat actually came ahead on that one, but not database input output. So I think I pretty much proved the point that uh, art is definitely good for benchmarking and probably overall for anything you want to do on your phone. Shit, here comes my boss, Cal, I gotta go. That's the end of the video.